it's uh, just give us a couple of seconds guys we are live right now okay okay great all right okay oh now we are live and now we're live okay guys so apparently we we're not live all this time yes thank you thank you so much Hermit. so same thing guys sorry we'll we'll fix this we were talking, we started at 7 p.m. I said hi as 1293, hi sharp for me, replying to your comments, but apparently we're not live. Okay, guys. So, hello one more time. Very good to see you. Want to say uh, thank you to Anne's1293 who very kindly said, hope you had a great birthday. I had the best birthday of my life. Um, I had a fantastic birthday. Thank you so much, guys. Um, good evening, Jim. Good evening, Sharp Farm. Good evening, Perry Albert. Good evening, Mike, and everybody else. Okay, guys, we are live right now. Hope you guys can see and hear us. And I'm here with you guys, and I'm here with our amazing portable power stations. So, in the studio today, we have EB3A. Okay, it's our smallest power station, only 10 pounds, only 10 inches. And yet, it will be perfect for your small outdoors activities. Like you go have, you want to have a picnic, you know, you want to spend more time outdoors, and you want to keep your phones charged and your laptops and other devices. EB3 is perfect. We have A780 is is our newest model. A780, 1,152 watt hour portable power station. We have A700 Max. That is, you know it very well. 2,040 watt hours and 2,200 watts of AC inverter. We have the B230 right here, and we have solar panels, PV200. So let's get started. Happy birthday, thank you so much. Mia, wave to the camera. They say, Mia, if you, want, if you ever want to come here and wave to the camera, you are very welcome to do that, it's chill. In fact, Helena did it a couple of times, okay? And we even did a live stream with Helena. Um, thank you so much, guys. For those guys who don't, who didn't, who don't know, I had, uh, my, my birthday was on August 1st. And so people wishing me happy birthday. Thank you so much, guys, for your, uh, <laughs> for your kind words. Okay, so Bobby Rogers here. Hello, Bobby. Hello, uh, Evans. Hello, uh, Glenn Ford. Okay, guys. So, guys, thank you for, oh, we have nine likes already? That's amazing, okay. So all the links and discount codes are in the description, okay, on YouTube and or on Facebook. What's more, we'll have giveaways every 25 to 30 minutes. So here are the giveaways. We give away our Blue Yeti cap, Blue Yeti t-shirt. We also are giving away the Blue Yeti phone tripod, okay? And our last giveaway for today, the fourth one is Blade Mini Fridge. Now, the Blade Mini Fridge is being given away only on YouTube, okay? No Facebook uh, giveaway, so last giveaway only on YouTube. All the other giveaways, we'll do one on YouTube and one on Facebook, okay? So, that's it. Hello, oh, Christina here. Hello, Christina. Thank you so much for helping us with the live stream last time. Okay, thank you. And I'm back right now earlier than expected so I'm back this uh, I'm back in the studio so uh, we can just keep um, you know doing live streams normally like we used to <clears throat> make them get the cable for the B80 to the AC 180 in fact we already have this cable it is not uh, available for sale yet but we already have this cable so I think it will be available soon all right guys so let's get started with a uh, with eb3a and eb3a is number one in the description again the link you will find the link in the description it is the official link to, to our website just a shortened link <clears throat> eb3a right now is available at amazing price guys just check it out okay so it's only $209. It's the lowest price. In fact, we had a lower price like $199, but $209 is like second lowest price, okay? It's a fantastic price. But first, guys, let's find out what is EB3A. So first things first, for all of our power stations, we use the best in the game, lithium iron phosphate batteries. To put it very simply, okay, I don't want to go on a rant one more time about lithium iron phosphate batteries. Okay, I'm already being mocked. Uh, for that, but 
<clears throat> lithium iron phosphate batteries are just superior to lithium ion batteries. And why is that? Well, because lithium iron phosphate batteries give you five times the runtime of lithium ion batteries. So where lithium ion batteries give you 500 charges, right? Lithium iron phosphate give you 2,500 charges, okay? So you're probably thinking, okay, maybe it's, it, costs, it costs five times more, right? But it's not the case. We are still trying to compete with other brands and trying to lower the cost without sacrificing the basics, the most important thing. So lithium iron phosphate batteries, five times the runtime of lithium ion batteries. For example, this power station is rated at 2,500 cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. Guys, you heard me right. 80%. So even after you charge it and discharge it 2,500 times, you will still have 80% of the original capacity. So you won't be using it every single day, but even if you do, let's calculate it together. 2,500 divided by 365 every single day, religiously, you charge it and discharge it. And you can use it for 6.8 years, even if you use it every single day, okay? Let alone if you use it just like a normal human being, like 99.9% .9 of you guys are gonna be using it like a couple of times a week, right? We're talking 10 plus years of runtime. And even after 10 years, you will still have 80% of the capacity. So it's still be usable, it's just that it, it won't be fresh as before. And you will just, you know, kind of realize it discharges faster than it used to, but still be, you can still use it. So 10 plus years of runtime, okay? That's important to understand. So what you can do is just you can divide the price by 10, okay? Calculate how much it will cost you per year for EB3A, okay? Number two about lithium iron phosphate batteries is that they are safe. And you really can't put the price on safety. Unfortunately, lithium, lithium ion batteries are unsafe. And you can find lots of videos on YouTube where they explode when they get hot. It's not good, guys. You don't want to risk because you're going to be putting this in your car. And in your car, it will be more than 100 degrees. And what if you have kids in your car? Or what if you have a pass in your car? Or even just yourself, right? You don't want to risk, okay? So lithium iron phosphate batteries are perfect because they are thermal resistant. They will not explode when it's hot. And number three, they are eco-friendly because no cobalt is used when producing lithium iron phosphate batteries. So there you have it. Three advantages where lithium iron phosphate batteries beat lithium ion batteries. <clears throat> so you might ask why so many companies and very well-known brands still use lithium ion batteries. Well, the answer is actually very simple because, you know, it, it costs them less to produce the batteries. So they can, you know, earn more. It's kind of a basic thing, but we want to give you guys the best in the game batteries. So no matter what you purchase from Blue Eddy, you get the best lithium iron phosphate batteries. Okay. All right. Next thing, the battery capacity. So the bigger the battery is, the higher the battery capacity is, right? I mean, the bigger the power station is because, you know, it's almost all the battery. It's almost all the battery. So when you say something like EB3A, don't expect to run your refrigerators and your microwaves and your heaters, you know, and your slow cookers and rice cookers from this thing. It's just not just physically impossible, right? So what is this for? This is to run your mini fridge, like a small 80, 40 watt mini fridge. This is to charge your AC and DC devices like your phones, your laptops, your speakers, things like that, right? This is not to run your heaters, right? Or refrigerators, okay? So I want you guys to have realistic expectations about what you guys are getting. So you guys are having good experience with our products, okay? So EB3A weighs in at only 10.14 pounds. It's our most lightweight portable power station. Easy to carry around, okay? Take it with you. Uh, maybe you have a picnic outdoors. Maybe you're just staying off the grid. You know, uh, you're having like a weekend camping. And if the weather is good and you have the opportunity to recharge from solar panels, that would be fantastic because now you always have the way to recharge it back, okay? Because look, the battery capacity here is 268 watt hours. So what does that mean in real life, right? How long can you run or charge our devices? Let's find out. So 268 watt hours means you can charge your iPhone 12 as an example, right? I'm using iPhone 12. You can charge it from zero to 100% 14 times, right? So you have a partner, you have two iPhones, you can charge it 
seven times, you know, each iPhone. That's like more than enough. You can charge your laptop, like MacBook Air, for example, 3.5 times. You can charge your mini drone 7.3 times. You can charge your camera, your 16 watt hour camera, 7.8 times. You can charge your, you can, sorry, you can run your 80 watt power tool for 2.3 hours. You can run your 40 watt mini fridge, just like our Blatty mini fridge pulls out around 40 watts. Uh, you can run it for four hours, right? Then you can run a 75 watt TV for 2.4 hours. You can run a 200 watt slow cooker for an hour. And you can even run a thousand watt coffee maker for 16 minutes. Well, good thing is it only takes a couple of minutes to brew a cup of coffee. And yet a thousand watt coffee maker for 0 0.3 hours. Okay. So, okay guys, let me check some comments. Uh, oh, Rambling Bob Reviews here. We missed you last live stream. Thank you so much. I think uh, Christina did great, but uh, thank you, Bob. Okay, all right, guys. Maybe three chargers, my MacBook Pro, two iPhone 13 Pro, and an iPad, everyday plus two batteries, and a 100 watts solar. I am very glad to hear that uh, PT, PTY photo. So you see, uh, this is an example that uh, one of our friends is having an amazing uh, experience with um, EB3A because he or she uses it for what it's meant for, right? If you were, to, if you try to run some, you know, uh, fridge from a full-size fridge from it or or a heater, right? You would be just frustrated because, guys, my job here is not to sell you things. You know, just buy something, just buy and go. You will be using this thing for ten plus years, so I really hope you enjoy it, right? So don't rush to buy it, guys. Maybe just spend a little bit more time to learn about it, right? Because it's like a long-term commitment, 10 plus years of runtime. So you better be enjoying it. And I promise you will. There is not like one perfect power station, right? But there is definitely a perfect power station for you, for your case. So let's spend a little bit time, a little bit of time here to find out what power station fits you, your family, your business the best. Okay, at the same time, we have giveaways every 25 minutes. We have 10 minutes left right now before our first giveaway, which is going to be a Blue Eddy cap. And that is a stylish cap, let me tell you. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Most likely, they will be uh, replied by our community or by me or, or by Blue Eddy official, which is actually me. I'm just typing uh, answers for you there. Okay, okay, okay. So, do we have any questions? Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm All right. Okay, guys. Um, oh, let me also check our Facebook, our Facebook live stream. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Charles. My EB3 just came in money at 66% charge. My uh, son ran his laptop for three hours on it to get it down to 20%. Okay. Wow, you see, one of we have we do have a desktop computer here. So yeah, you can run a desktop computers or you can charge your laptops from it. Oh, we have 28 people on Facebook. Guys, apologies for not checking Facebook comments. I'm here. Hello, Norris. Hello, Rob. Hello, Alex. Hello, uh, Chris, Le uh, Leonardo, uh, Bill, uh, everybody else. Okay, let me, let me see your comments, guys. Guys, if you have any questions, do let us know. We'll respond to every single question. Okay, Rob has a Rob has a question about delivery. Uh, Blady official slash Mia, <laughs> make sure you you reply to Rob Zimmerman on uh, Facebook. Okay, Facebook last time we have a comment from Rob Zimmerman, and um, please reply to his um, question about shipping. Okay, looking forward uh, to receiving my first Blady device. Ordered the A seven hundred eighty on July thirteenth. Still not shipped yet. It will be shipped soon, Scarlett. And thank you for ordering a C180. This is a C180, by the way. Okay, so great. I really want to trade in my U70 for an A180. It would run my fridge longer when camping. Yes, we do have trade-in programs, guys. You can check them out on bloodypower.com. Mm, wearing one of my bloody caps now as I watch. I'm oh, glad to hear that. Okay. All right, guys. So 268 watt hours, right? of battery capacity. So we heard what it can do. It can charge your, again, phones, multiple times speakers, laptops, um, Apple Watches, other stuff, easy. 
it can run it can run a by the way my, my apple watch is at 10 percent right now and i actually have a charger here so you know i actually can go ahead and charge it right now from um eb3a or from ac 180 um the battery the battery is obviously tiny of the apple watch so it will be probably one of it show the load so let's try right now okay turn dc on okay it started charging I doubt we will have any uh, output here. So one watt, okay, one watt right now. And let's see how fast we can charge it, how fast we can charge my Apple Watch. Okay, great. So I finally won a hoodie. I'm officially ready for fall. Okay, <laughs> congratulations on that. That is a comfy hoodie, isn't it? Okay, guys. So the next thing we want to know is the maximum AC load that EB3A can handle. So when you want to connect it with any electronic device, the only thing you really want to check is the wattage, W, right? So because, you know, I, I know some people, um, I saw comments on you know, social media, people are asking, oh, this, okay, let me check the microphone. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. So <laughs> was just checking the microphone. <laughs> Hello, Joanna, I'm very good to see you. Okay, so uh, I was saying, yeah, you don't have to check the voltage or frequency. As long as you purchase like, you know, a, an electronic device in, in your country, like in America, for example, right? It will be already standard for your, like it will 60 hertz, 120 volts. So you don't have to really check it. You wanna double check it sometimes just to make sure everything is okay. The thing you do want to check is the maximum wattage. For example, EB3A can handle 600 watts, okay, under normal conditions, okay? What I mean by that is, if it's not super hot, if it's super hot, it cannot handle 600 watts, right? It will really have difficulties doing that. It also has a super advanced power lifting mode, so it can handle pure resistive loads up to 1,200 watts, but only for pure resistive loads. So, <laughs> so um, when you connect a device, make sure that it's under uh, 600 watts if you're not under power lifting mode, and it's under 100, 1,200 watts if you are if you enable the power lifting mode. Okay. So let me give you guys an example. We have this um, waffle maker, not to confuse with awful maker. It's a waffle maker. Okay, and. So the, the producer said uh, it's 600 watts, okay? 600 watts right here. So we should be able to run it from EB3A. I would enable power lifting mode, okay? So let's try it right now, okay? <laughs> Not trying to advertise this waffle maker. So let's plug it in. So it's 600 watts. EB3A can handle 600 watts max. So just to play safe, I would go ahead and turn the power lifting mode on. Let me show you guys how to do that. So let's open our Bluetti app, okay? If you don't have the app yet and you have a power station with uh, Bluetooth, go ahead and download, the, install the app. Okay, so here is our Bluetti app, guys. Can we zoom in here? Let's go. So here's our Bluetti app. It's available on um, iPhone and Android, doesn't matter. So click the button here, you have my devices, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the EB3A. And in the settings here, I'm gonna enable power lifting mode. And it says 1,200 watts, suitable for powering heating devices, pure resistive loads. Okay, let's go. And now when power lifting mode is on, I'm, I will try, oh, let's turn it back on. I will try uh, running this waffle maker from EB3A, 557. Guys, can we please zoom out a little bit so we can see the screen here, okay, which shows 558 watts. So you see, guys, we could even run it without power lifting mode. You know, we just wanted to play it safe. So we can actually go ahead and turn off, okay, and turn the power, power lifting mode off and try one more time. So let's try one more time, okay. So can we zoom out a little bit so we can see the screen here because it's important to see the 
alpha here, okay? I'm gonna turn this waffle maker on. Start this waffle maker. 632 watts, you see right now it's, I don't know why, but now it's for some reason 632 watts. Are we going to overload it? Possibly, because yeah, it just happened. So guys, don't worry about that. Just showing you guys, we are being real. So we say, can we zoom in here please? Um, 600 watts maximum, okay? So you cannot run devices that are more than 600 watts. We just had an overload, totally fine. Will happen to you too, <laughs> uh, every once in a while, totally fine. So what you wanna do is, first of all, unplug a device that caused the overload. Then, just restart it, okay? And this time, I am going to enable the power lifting mode again. Okay, power lifting mode on. So now we can run devices up to 1200 watts. Uh, plug it in and Okay, and I'm gonna start this waffle maker again. And we're pulling out 557 watts, close to 600 watts, but now it works per perfectly and we're not, causing, uh, sorry, we're not causing the overload. Just like that. So your output is how many watts you're pulling out right here, and you want this number to be within 600 watts if you're not on power lifting mode, okay? And if you turn the power lifting mode on, you want it to be within 1200 watts, 1200 being the maximum, okay? So don't push it more than 1200 watts. Here is your in here is your input, how many watts are coming in, right? And let's try charging it right now. We can actually charge it and we can charge it from a wall outlet, we can charge it from a solar panel, or we can even charge it from our vehicle. There are multiple ways to recharge our EB3A, okay? So right now, let me use our EP500 Pro, okay, as a, um, as a wall outlet source. Let me bring this big EP500 Pro right here in the studio, and I'm gonna use this as a wall outlet source, okay? So let's start it. To charge our EB3A, all we need is this cable, and this cable is included in the box. This is your normal computer plug. If you look at your desktop computer, you actually have this cable at home already. We give it to you guys for free in the box. It's included, okay? You don't need an adapter for EB3A. For some of our power stations, you do need an adapter, but not for EB3A. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Turn AC on here, and the input is right here. Okay, let me, this waffle maker right here. So the input is right here. Let's plug it in. Okay, uh, so let's click this button so we can see what's going on. Okay, and we started charting. So we have an output of 595 watts, and we have an input of 100 and six watts. Can we have a higher input? Yes, we can. All we want to do is go to um, charting mode and switch it from silent, which is the slowest mode, to standard or turbo. Let's try it. So now we are at standard and we're getting 150, 60 watts in. Okay, guys, it's time for a first giveaway. So how did the giveaways work? We want you guys to, uh, so we're still doing the giveaways the same way, right? We Type Blue Eddy and yeah. screenshot, okay. We're typing in Blue Eddy and we're going to take a screenshot. Okay, so guys, are you ready? The first giveaway is going to be our Blue Eddy cap. All right, so let's get started, guys. It's on YouTube first. So in 10 seconds, I'll take a screenshot and whoever's comment is on the very bottom wins. This, that was a test, okay? So let's go, guys. Um, keep typing Blue Eddy in the comments just like Bob right now and in 10 seconds we'll take in a screenshot yeah guys that's right blue eddy don't type too often so that, uh, because youtube will restrict you from typing too often okay but yeah just like that and let's go our first giveaway in 10 seconds i think we're ready let's go 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so who is the winner? Let's take a look. 
All right, and it's clearly ends 12.93. Congratulations, let's go. Okay, now let's do Facebook. For some reason, my Facebook app doesn't work, so you know what, whatever. Let's just use my laptop, take a screenshot, you know, show must go on. So here I am, guys, and I'm just gonna take a screenshot like this. That was a test, okay? So we can just zoom in right here on my screen. Let me just turn the brightness up. There we go. And I'm gonna be, I'll take a screenshot in 10 seconds. So here's the last comment right now, okay? So I'll take a screenshot in 10 seconds. Let's go, 10. Keep typing, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, okay. So let's see. And it's Chris. Southers, congratulations, Chris. Congratulations, Chris. So our first winners are Chris and um, Anne's. Anne's 1293 and Chris Southers. You guys won our bloody cap. <clears throat> now, uh, please email us our, your, your shipping address. Our email is livestream at bluetti.com. So please email your shipping address to livestream at bluetti.com. Okay, now our second giveaway is coming in 25 minutes or so. And our second giveaway is going to be Bluetti t-shirt. So guys, congratulations to our first round giveaway winners and let's keep going. By the way, my Apple Watch is now charging and we're pulling out one watt. I think it's all it needs, really. Okay, so what else, guys? Let's take a look at the screen. So right now we are charting our EB3A, okay? And the input is 264 watts. Now we have three charting modes for EB3A, okay? Um, so we have, they're, they're here, standard, silent, and turbo. So under standard charging mode, we're getting around 270 watts, 268 watts. Under silent charging mode, let's try it. Let's try the silent charging mode. It's called silent for a reason, because the input is low, so the necessity for the fast to kick on uh, decreases. So you will normally not hear fans, okay? Uh, you won't hear the fans unless the unit was hot prior to that. So um, we're getting 108 watts in under silent charging mode. And let's try turbo charging mode. Let's go turbo. It says fast charging at a maximum of 350 watts. And you have something in red here, you know, not a good, not a good vibe. So for, for, for the best battery lifespan, please um, turn on this mode only when urgent power is needed. Okay. So we're getting Let's see, 200 and 300, 370, 420, 430. Oh my God, I'll just wait for 430 watts of input. It's even more than expected. Look, it says 350 watts, but actually it's 430 watts. Phenomenal. Okay, so, and it will only take a 0.2 hours, that is uh, 12 minutes before the unit is fully charged, okay? Okay, now, what else do we have here? We have eco mode, eco mode on or off. Eco mode, so what, what is eco mode, right? Eco mode will turn off your AC and or DC inverter after the amount of time that you programmed it for, you program it for, or you can just stick to the default settings. It's all fine. So here we have the eco shutdown, guys. And by the way, guys, if you hear the sound right now, this is, these are the fans. Totally fine. Turbo charging mode. It's uh, 430 watts of input, so you will definitely hear fans work right now. Okay, so now, when do you want the inverter to shut down? After one hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours, okay? You can set it here. Next, we have um, eco shutdown, right? Eco shutdown here. So uh, next we have LED light. We actually have an LED light in front and attention, bright light. So medium, okay. Next, uh, high, okay. SOS or off. Now, can you turn this light on and off manually? Yes, you can, just like this, okay. 
three modes and you can also do it from the app okay so let's unplug it now it's charging it's at 58 percent already so that was just for demonstration so let's just unplug it right now okay not to put too much stress on the battery my favorite feature about eb3a about the app is firmware upgrades so for firmware upgrades all you need is to be connected via bluetooth and we are connected via bluetooth so we do have arm and dsp upgrades here in the app now we are up to date right but every once in a while we'll have updates here and those are firmware upgrades okay um what else do we have here we have user manuals so you can access user manuals here so for example here's user ma user manuals for Blady EB3A. Now you will sure you will surely have the printed user manual in the box, but you also have it in PDF. Very cool. Uh, we also have um, what else? Share device options. So you can share this device with other people. You can scan this QR code, and you guys can control this device together. Um, and you can see the members connected here. You can change the name of the device here. So you can like I did. I added this battery emoji. So you can remove it. You can write whatever you want you can change the name pretty cool what else what else what else that's pretty much it and you can always go ahead and unbind the device now we are in settings by the way and this is the home page so we can see here is Bluetooth It's connected via Bluetooth um, now here we have power lifting mode this flexing bicep means power lifting mode is on this one means turbo charging is on okay and in fact we can go ahead and switch turbo charging to silent for example and you will see that this symbol is gone so and now we have the green leaf instead this means silent charting and this flexing bicep again means power lifting mode so we can go ahead and turn it off and now we don't have this icon anymore right on the top we have pv input so that will show us how many watts are coming from pv and that is from solar panels right or from your car it's all pv it will show it will show you pv because it's coming from a pv input and here is grid how many watts are coming from um from a wall outlet okay it will show you grid input now here is the output dc output and ac output so it shows that the AC is on right now. Can we turn AC off? Let's try. Yeah, we just did it. We just turned AC off. And can we turn DC on? Let's try. DC on. There we go. DC is on and AC is on. Okay. And we can see it's, it's on and we can see that the battery is at 59% right now. We can even turn off the whole device here from the app okay just like this guys now the screen itself let's take a look at the screen so we have input here output here we have ac and dc here battery life estimate remaining time eco mode on and off and if we have any alerts we'll have them here on the screen now we can actually act, enter the settings mode from the um just without the app we can switch the frequency from 50 hertz to 60 hertz like this 50 60 50 60 we can turn eco mode off just like that and turn it back on and turn it off and turn it back off and we can access the settings mode just the way we entered it just like that so let's take a look at the outputs right now what outputs do we have on our beautiful eb3a on the top we have this 15 watt wireless charging pad for your phones that support wireless charging place your phone in the center and enjoy charging with no cables and uh, no cords just like this turn DC on because it belongs to DC and watch how your phone starts charging wirelessly just like this beautiful so on the top we have a 15 watt wireless charging pad now what we have here is a 12 volt antenna cigarette light port this is for your mini fridges this is for some of the devices you have it here it's a standard 12 volt antenna car power socket or cigarette light port we have two DC 5521 barrel connectors. Those are 12 volts and 10 amps, so 120 watts max. What we have here is, um, has USB ports. We have two USB A ports, and those are 5 volts and 3 amps, so approximately 15 watts for this pair. And um, this is the USB C port quick charge, 100 watts. Okay, let's charge your, uh, your laptops, like your MacBook or your iPhone or your iPad, you know, and many other electronics. 
very good port to have. Now, what we have here is AC outputs, right? So we have two AC outputs and those are 120 volts and 600 watts. And this is the battery capacity, 268 watt hours. And it's a pure sine wave inverter, okay? And some people will mistakenly think that 600 watts is a surge power. It's not. The surge power is double of it. It's 1200 watts, okay? 600 watts is not a surge power. 600 watts is the normal AC load. You know, you can run your devices consistently 600 watts. <clears throat> the surge power is 1200 watts. So is the maximum AC load available for you if you enable power lifting mode, but only for pure resistive loads for hitting devices, okay? Okay, what we have here is the input, okay? And this is the uh, 120 volt and nine amp AC input to charge from your wall outlet, just like we did, right? Just like this. Here is your circuit protector, circuit breaker, circuit protector, and here is your DC input, input slash MPPT. It's from 12, 28 volts. So you don't want to plug in uh, anything less than 12 volts and anything more than 28 volts. And the amperage limitation is 8.5 amps, so eight and a half amps. So that means that the system will only take eight and a half amps, okay? But we do have the MPPT controller, so don't worry about maxing out on the amperage. No matter what the external amperage is, maybe it's 10 amps, maybe it's 12 amps, the system will only take 8.5 amps because we have an MPPT controller. But about the voltage, you do have to worry, guys. You don't, you don't want to connect it to solar panels, for example, that are less than 12 volts, okay? It will just not work, that's it. But if you connect it to a device, like to a solar panel that is more than 28 volts, right? This maybe like 35 volts or something. It's bad, it will harm the device. So please choose a solar panel with a compatible voltage, okay? And speaking about solar panels, how much time will it take us to recharge from solar panels? And because we, you know, uh, recommend this device as your portable power station, you want to charge also from portable solar panels when you're outdoors. So all you need to max out charging fr from uh, solar panels is one Blue Eddy PV200. Let me just, just show you the Blue Eddy PV200 portable uh, solar panel. It's right here. So this is Blue Eddy PV200, okay? and it's a 200 watt portable solar panel it's all you need now the first thing we have to know is what is the voltage of this panel is it within 12 to 28 volts let's find out so if you look at the user manual or here on the solar panel we have technical details the open circuit voltage of blue eddy pv200 is 26.1 volts so it's within 12 to 28 volts you don't have to worry about it perfectly compatible with Blueti EB3A, as well as with all of our smaller power stations like EB55, EB70S, B80, AC60, and other smaller power stations. Okay, so it will take us two hours to recharge from zero to 100% under realistic conditions. Not perfect conditions, not perfect laboratory conditions, realistic good conditions good weather will take us two hours to recharge from zero to 100 percent will take us one hour and 36 minutes to recharge from zero to 80 percent from one blue eddy pv 200 you don't you don't need more in fact you can connect more than one panel in series because when you connect panels in series a voltage add up so here again the max is 28 volts one panel 26.1 volts perfect two of them too much okay it's an overkill how about charting from solar panels do we have any cables do we have anything for that we do and in fact guys let me show you what we have we have this solar charging cable and it is included in the box okay <clears throat> let me just show it to you real quick so this is a solar charging cable with a 59 inch um, MC Ford DC7909 solar charging cable. So, in, on one end, we have this DC7909, colloquially called 8 millimeter, okay? And here we have one pair of MC4 connectors, okay? So, to charge from solar panels, all you want to do is to plug it in and this input right here, just like that, okay? And you plug this one, you connect it with a solar panel. 
all of our solar panels and most solar panels in the market, they have built-in MC4 connectors. This is the most universal uh, type of connectors. We don't make any type of proprietary connectors so you can only connect our solar panels. No, you can connect to any solar panels, right? Uh, we hope you choose all solar panels because they are the best quality and very convenient and portable. So you have this cable in the box. How about charging from your vehicle? Is it even an option? It is. You can charge from your vehicle, you can charge from your car. Most cars, 12 volts, 10 amps, perfect, okay? So let me show you guys how to charge from your vehicle. All you need is this car charging cable. Now we do not include the car charging cable in the box because we realize not everybody is going to be returning from their vehicles, so we don't want to augment the cost. Um, this cable is cheap, it's like 10 to 20 bucks, available on Amazon or on our website, uh, but actually on our website it might be sold out, so you can just check the Amazon. Uh, let me show you guys that cable that I'm talking about. So this is the cable I'm talking about, and this is a car charting cable, okay? All you want to do is plug it in here, okay, and plug it in, in your uh, car power socket when you're on the go, when your engine is working. So you will get approximately 85 watts of input from your standard 12 volt antenna signal light port and will take you 3.7 hours to recharge from zero to 100%. Again, not super fast, but actually quite okay if you're on a trip, if you on on the road, 3.7 hours from zero to 100%. And after 2.6 hours, you will be already at 80%. Now, if you happen to have 24 volt antenna amp input, it will take you 2.1 hours to recharge from zero to 100% and only 1.3 hours to recharge from zero to 80%. So there you have it. Solar panels, vehicle, and three AC charting modes. So again, under standard charting mode, it will take you 1.6 hours from zero to 100%. Under silent charting mode, it will take you 3.2 hours from zero to 100%. And under turbo charting mode, it will take you 1.3 hours from zero to 100% and only 40 minutes from zero to 80%. Only 40 minutes under turbo charging mode. <clears throat> okay, so this is EB3A and EB3A right now is only $209. Honestly, I do not know why the price is so low, what kind of promotion is that. Um, you probably guys hate me for that, but I would actually be happier <laughs> if the price was higher because it's easier to sell. No, no, no kidding. It's easier to sell when the price is higher because people will see the value. When the price is $209, people are suspicious. Why is it so cheap, right? We're using the best batteries, lithium iron phosphate, 2500 cycles. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, EB3 is also a UPS device. UPS stands for uninterrupted power supply, okay? Classic example, um, your desktop computer plug it in here and it plug in the wall outlet so you protect it from uh, uh, blackouts because the switch time is only 0 0.02 seconds, 20 milliseconds, super fast. It, it, you can call it UPS, not EPS or this sort of thing. If I don't even quite understand. Fast enough for most lap for most computers uh, that don't have batteries, right? Um, to switch from the wall outlet when it when it uh, bypasses you the power from the wall outlet to your desktop, and when a blackout occurs, it will just switch to the internal batteries, and your desktop computer will stay on. So really uh, great device, UPS power lifting mode, app control, firmware upgrades, three charging modes, turbo charging mode from zero to one hundred percent in one hour and 18 minutes, and from zero to 80% in 40 minutes. Great device, and the price is ridiculous. It's only $209. So, in fact, it's only 0 0.77 cents for a watt hour, which is <clears throat> lower than, a than the market price. And again, guys, think about $209 divided by 10 is $20.9 a year because the runtime is 10 plus years. You have all the cables necessary included in the box. You have the soldering cable, we have the um, you have the soldering cable, you have the cartering cartering cable, and you have the AC charging cable, and you can also get the car charging cable. Oh, 
sorry, you don't have a cartridge cable in the box, you can get the cartridge cable additionally, it's cheap, and you can now charge from your vehicle too. So the, the size, by the way, guys, it's super small. Uh, let me tell you, it's only 10 inches by 20, uh, uh, 10 inches by 7.1 inches by 7.2 inches, or it's 26 centimeters by 18 centimeters by 18.3 centimeters, and the weight is 10.14 pounds or 4.6 kilograms. So it's very, very lightweight and portable. And we have this nice carrying handle on top, completely flat. You can't even see there's a handle here. Boom, there is one. Agronomic design, I love it. Okay, we have the fans here, we have non slip. Um, has here, just beautiful device. Nothing's there, so you can place it against the wall. Built-in light right here, that only uh, pulls out one to two watts, and it's super bright as you guys can see. Okay, so just perfect device and the perfect price right now, only two hundred and nine dollars. So the only question right now: Should you get EB3A alone, or should you get it with the PV200 solar panel? Okay. And if you ask me, and if you don't really um, go camping a lot, if you don't stay outdoors a lot, maybe you don't need RPV200. But if you do any of those sorts of like outdoors activities, like camping, maybe fishing, maybe some other things, and anyway, if you're looking for a portable solar panel, okay, not this kind of like a rigid rooftop sort of solar panels, definitely don't get our solar panels for that. Our solar panels are not to be mounted on the rooftop. That would be a waste of your money and the waste of our solar panels. Um, there, are, there are tons of good solar panels that are like rigid rooftop solar panels, okay? And they will be perfect for EB3A. Just make sure they are within 28 volts, okay? <clears throat> That's it. If you're looking for a portable solar panel, though, I can recommend PV200 enough. Why? PV200 is portable and foldable is convenient, really. It's really convenient, guys. Look at this. This is the size of PV200. In fact, if you want to know how big PV200 is, I'll tell you. So PV200, when it's like this, when it's, um, <clears throat> when it's folded, it's only 23.2 inches by 24.8 inches. The weight is 16.1 pounds. When you open it up, it's four times bigger, okay? It has four panels and it pulls out 200 watts. Um, you, you will have the input of 200 watts maximum. It's made of ETFE or ethylene tetrafluorethylene, which is a very good material. The maximum cell efficiency is 23.4%. It is very high. Um, voltage max power is 20.5 volts. Current max power is 9.7 amps. Open circuit voltage 26.1 volts and short circuit current is 10.3 amps. It works perfectly under temperatures from 15 to 150 Fahrenheit and it works best under temperatures under the temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a warranty for one year and you know what? Let's just go ahead and open this up and let me just show you uh, what it looks like so maybe we can experiment with, with the camera angle so we can have a better look so okay so before you open it pro tip okay i learned the hard way let me put this office chair here first so i learned the hard way we have the kickstands here right so what about it kickstands you want to make sure they're pointing down just like this they're pointing down right now now you want to open it up just like this and go ahead and open it up Okay, and if you want to lay it uh, flat on the ground, perfect. You know, if it's if it's noon, if it's 12 p.m., perfect. Lay it flat on the ground, no problem. You can also use those kickstands right here to adjust a better angle to the sun. This is one of the key features that really um, um, predicts what is the um, efficiency, what is the maximum solar input you're getting. So. Guys, you know what? <laughs> I might lose my job for that, but like, I'm gonna be honest with you. You will not get 200 watts from this panel, okay? This is achieved under ideal laboratory conditions, but you will get around 170, 180 watts on a good day. So what are the things that really matter when placing a solar panel? First of all, guys, know 
a shadow. You don't want it to be shaded. Guys, you don't want to do this. If there is a tree or maybe there is a dog <laughs> standing next to the solar panel, you don't want it to happen. You want to have no shadow, okay? So this is rule number one. Rule number two, place so it faces the sun, okay? And it's 12 p.m., a laid flat on the ground. If it's, uh, I don't know, 2 p.m. or 10 a.m., just try uh, to place so it faces the sun, okay? You will max out on solar input. What else? Well, obviously when it's too cold or too hot, um, you will have a lower input, okay? Um, so you don't want it to be too hot, okay? In fact, the best temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. Now, how to connect our EB3A with uh, the PV200? So again, we have this solar charging cable. It's included in the box of uh, EB3A, okay? Now, normally what I would do, I would place EB3A behind the PV200, so it's like, you know, it's perfect, so EB3 doesn't get too hot. Okay, um, let me just place it here for now. <clears throat> and let's plug it in. Wait a sec, you can't see, right? Okay. Oh, hold on, it's okay. I'll just swap the Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here, this, in this input, okay? And uh, we have the same cable on our PV200, right here. This cable is built in, PV200. It's not a short one either. Many of you are concerned, oh, it's too short, it's no good, it's too short. Okay, so there we go. And all we wanna do is connect it just like that, super easy. And take a look, guys, at our EB3A. Look what happens. It shows input, input, right? Right now, it's probably thinking like, what is going on? Because we are in a studio, no windows here, nothing. So zero input, obviously, but it does, it's, it's reacting to it. So it's connected and shows this input of zero watts, obviously, because we are indoors in a studio. You charge it just like this. When you're done charging, all you want to do, boom, disconnect it and put this cable back. By the way, guys, this cable is here in this bag. We also have the technical details here. All of those details I told you, like open circuit voltage, um, short current, um, uh, operating temperature, maximum wattage, it's all here technical details, okay, and fold it back. There we go, super easy. And also guys, let's take a look at the kickstands. We have, so we have like four different angles here. One, 45 degrees, or even just like this, okay? And we have one, uh, Three, I think we have three kickstands here, enough to support our PV200 panel. And you know what, when you carry it around, just carry it around like this, or like this. So, not a rooftop solar panel, a portable solar panel, convenience and comfort. Time for our second giveaway, which is going to be our Blue Eddy t-shirt. Let's go guys, right now what you want to do is to start typing Blue Eddy in the comments. We'll do YouTube first, and then we'll do Facebook. So let's go, our second giveaway, Blue Eddy t-shirt. All right, so let me open the live stream on my phone. There we go. So, okay guys, all right, let's get started. Keep typing Blue Eddy, and in 10 seconds, I'm taking a screenshot, and whoever's comment is on the very bottom wins. Are we ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Okay, so who is the winner? And it's Jose Raza. Congratulations, Jose. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now Facebook. Now my Facebook app 
still doesn't work, but no worries guys, you know what? You either look for excuses or you look for opportunities. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on my laptop. So what? So what, it's not good looking? We'll just get it done anyway. So 10 seconds guys, keep typing Blue Eddy just like this. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, we have a phone here, uh, uh, awesome. Okay, we, you, I'll use Mia's phone right now. Okay, let's do it on the phone, it's definitely much better. Okay guys, keep typing Blue Eddy. Keep typing Blue Eddy, Blue Eddy, Blue Eddy. 10 second countdown right now. Wait a second, this is YouTube, right? Oh, Facebook, Facebook, okay. Okay, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, uh, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, and who is the winner? It's Benedetto Saculo Salvatore. Congratulations, Benedetto. Congratulations, you got our Buetti t-shirt. Okay, guys, now, dear Jose Rosa and Benedetto Saculo Salvatore, please email us to uh, livestream at blueeddy.com, livestream at blueeddy.com, and send us your shipping address so we can ship it to you, so we can ship it to you, your giveaway. Okay, so let's keep going, guys. Again, EB3A, geez, it's been, it's been an hour, and we we'll still have A300 Max and 130 and AC180. Guys, you know what? It's enough about EB3A, absolutely great unit. Can't recommend it enough. Just trust me and get this one. You'll be absolutely thrilled with your purchase. If it was $299, I would absolutely recommend it to you for you to buy. Because guys, 10 years of runtime, okay? I personally don't mind to pay a little bit more for a good product I will be happy with as opposed to frustrated with, okay? So absolutely get it. Let alone, right now, it's $209, which is only 77 cents for a watt hour, where the market price is a dollar for a watt hour. And it's only $20.9 a year over the course of 10 years, let alone the lifespan of this partition is more than 10 years, okay? We have a warranty for two years, so within the first two years, you, you, you fully covered, okay? We have a warranty for two years and the runtime is around 10 years. So go ahead and get our EB3A. The link is in the description on YouTube or on Facebook. You don't need any discount code. The price is $209 right now, a limited offer. Let's keep going. And by the way, guys, totally go ahead and get EB3A right now and we are talking about AC 180 right now. AC 180 right here. So, okay. AC 180. By the way guys, if you already have EB3A, let us know in the comments and you can just share your experience in a couple of words. How is your EB3A? All right, all right, let me see. Okay, guys, AC 180. We, I'm turning my Apple Watch right now, by the way, we're pulling out what, one watt? One watt, yeah, one watt, you know, the Apple Watch battery is tiny, obviously. So, <clears throat> let's just disconnect it, and let's start AC 180. So, AC 180 is a 1,152 watt hour portable power station, okay? The maximum AC load is 1,800 watts. What else? It is one of our newest models, okay? And we just wanted to give you guys more choice. We wanted to bring the cost down and we wanted to get, just give you, you know, uh, one more power station to choose from. So it might be not perfect for everybody. We did receive some feedback. People say, oh, why do you, don't you put more DC outputs? You know, things like that. 
So it might be not for you. Maybe actually the Acer Max will be a better option. But Acer Hornet 80 is more portable. It's less heavy than Acer Hornet Max. Let's just compare it right now. So you know, AC uh, 180, Acer Hornet 80 weighs in at uh, 37.4 pounds. Okay, 37.4 pounds, while um, a start max was at 61.9 pounds. So 37.4 pounds as opposed to 61.9 pounds. So oh, definitely less heavy. It's very important, you know, if you're talking about portable power stations. What else? A smart 80. A smart 80 is more advanced. We don't need an adapter to return, which is great because again, talk about portability. You take it with you when you go camping. You don't want to take an adapter with you. Adapter is bulky, it's big, it's heavy. You don't want to take it with you. You want to just all you want to have is a um, this turning cable. You know, just this turning cable. Good enough. So again, how do we chart it? We have an input right here, the same one we had on EB3A. <clears throat> plug it in. Plug it in a wall outlet. Boom. You're all set, guys. We are. We start trying right now. You know, take a look at the input right now, right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two hundred and fifty-three watts of input right now, just like that. Okay. So, what are the dimensions, by the way? It's thirteen point four inches by <clears throat> by nine point seven inches by twelve point five inches, uh, or it's thirty-four centimeters by twenty-four point seven centimeters by 31.7 centimeters. And the weight is 37.4 pounds or 17 kilograms. <clears throat> this power station is of course this, the, same battery uh, the same battery chemistry, lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, it's rated at 3,500 cycles, okay? 3,500 cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. So <clears throat> 3,500, guess, you won't be using it every single day, right? But you know how we calculate it here. Even if you run one cycle every single day, let's find out. 3,500 divided by 365 days in the year. We've got 9.50, yeah, let's run it out. 10, 10 years, 10 years of runtime. Even if somehow, unrealistically, we run one cycle every single day, guys, nothing to worry about and because it's a newer model we want you guys to have peace of mind we give you guys an unprecedented industry leading oh actually it's not industry leading because we just beat our own record with our ace 60 but anyway five year warranty five year warranty that's a long time five years so we give you guys a five year warranty so one more time 1,800 watts of AC load with a surge power of 2,700 watts. Um, the battery capacity is 1,152 watt hours. Five year warranty and 10 year estimated runtime. What do we have in the box? In the box, we have this charting cable, AC charting cable. It's in the box. We also have a solar charging cable, the same one as for EV3, DC7909 to MC4 universal connectors. And we even have the car charging cable is included in the box. So to charge from your vehicle, to charge from your solar panels, and to charge from uh, a wallet. We have the cables for all of that in the box. We also have a user manual and a warranty card. Okay, we also offer optional accessories available on our website but you don't need them unless you do so and if you do you can just purchase them on our website so let's take a look at the outputs on the top we have this one wireless charging pad 15 watts if you want to remove it, we think it's great 15 watt wireless charging pad what we have here is a uh, 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port okay uh, here we have a usb c port quick charge 100 watts usb a port 5 volt 3 amp so 15 watt for this pair and for this pair. So it's uh, 15, 15 amps here and sorry, 15 watts here, 15 watts here. And we have four um, AC outputs, right? 
those are 120 volts and 1,800 watts. We have a nice advanced screen right here. It shows us the battery percentage, 51%, the estimated operation time, output, input, wireless charger on, and on or off, eco mode on or off, AC, DC on or off. So for example, I can turn AC off right now. You see it's gone here and okay, back on. This is the power lifting mode. So pretty cool. Okay, now, the input, the input, let's take a look at the input. There we go, yay. Okay, so this is the input, this is a 120 volts and, um, and nine amps. Okay, this is your AC input. By the way guys, this is, uh, our device is grounded, okay? It's newer added protection, so we take safety from 99.99999 to 100% almost. So the device is grounded. And uh, the DC input is in front right here. So DC PV input, 12 to 60 volts and 10 amps. I like it, it's full 10 amps, this is great. So from 12 to 60 volts and 10 amps. So it accepts 500 watts of solar input maximum. 500 watts of, watts of solar input maximum and 1,440 watts of DC input max. Again, it's 1,440 watts of DC input of, uh, excuse me, of AC input of, so, of uh, input from a wall outlet or from a generator, right? So 1,440 watts from AC and 500 watts from DC maximum. Do you guys think we can combine AC and DC at the same time? Can we charge from AC and DC at the same time? Yes, we can, because it's separate. Here is your DC input and your AC input is right here. So we can charge from a, a wall outlet and from a solar panel at the same time. We can be getting as high as 1,440 watts from here and um, 500 watts from here, so it will be 1,940 watts of input combined. So for example, if you're looking for portable solar panels to recharge your AC 180, I would recommend um, two Bluetti PV, PV 200 solar panels. Under good conditions, but realistic conditions, it will take you four hours and six minutes to recharge from zero to 100%, okay? And it will take you three hours and 18 minutes to recharge from zero to 80%, okay? Now you can also go for one Bluetti PV420. PV420 is a 420 watt uh, uh, portable solar panel, so it will take you four hours to recharge from zero to 100% and 3.2 hours to recharge from zero to 80%. Car charging, it's gonna be slow, but it's one of the ways to recharge it. So from your 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, you would get around 100 watts, 100 to 101 watts of input, okay? And it would take you 12 hours to recharge from zero to 100% and 9.2 hours to recharge from zero to 80%. If you have a 24 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port, it would take you 6.3 hours to recharge from 0 to 100% and 4.6 hours to recharge from 0 to 80%. Let's talk AC charging. This is where it gets exciting. So AC charging, guys, we have an app control. What good news, amazing news. So let's go ahead and um, open the app for Bluetti app. It's one app for all of our products. There we go. Here's my devices. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to AC 180. There you go. Searching, 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 boom. So let's go to settings. Now it's under silent charting mode and so let's plug it in our wall outlet. We have this cable, all we need is this cable, okay? This is our wall charting cable, AC charting cable. 1,440 watts of input maximum. Pretty remarkable, isn't it? Oh. Okay, cool. So, uh, and we, we will be getting around 
260 watts of input, right? Yeah, exactly, 162 watts of input right now under silent charting mode. Go ahead and turn it um, to standard. Standard charting mode and what is the input right now, guys? Let's zoom out a little bit on screen right here so we can see the output, input, 1056 watts. So in fact, under this input, it will take us only one hour and 36 minutes to recharge from zero to 100%. Again, it's one hour and 36 minutes from zero to 100%, and only 54 minutes from zero to 80%. Now, how about silent charting mode? Under silent charting mode, and it's here, it would take you five hours from zero to 100%, okay? and three hours and 36 minutes from zero to 80 percent but we have one more mode which is you probably guessed it it's turbo again guys same with eb3a right turbo so turbo charging mode look at that oh my god 1455 watts and it will take us one hour and 18 minutes to recharge from zero to 100 percent okay and only 40 minutes, 40 minutes to recharge from zero to 80%. This is remarkable, guys. Also, take a look at the screen. We did add a lot of features. We added this Bluetooth. It means it's connected via Bluetooth, and you can only connect via Bluetooth. Uh, you cannot connect via uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, here is uh, your wireless charging pad, uh, wireless charger um, icon. So it means wireless charger is on. If I turn DC off, you see this icon is gone, and now watch it, how it comes back on. Okay, there we go. This is a fan, right? Your fan is working right now. You can see it right here. Eco mode right here. Eco mode will turn the AC inverter and the DC inverter after one, two, three, or four hours, depending on how you program it. What we have here is turbo charting mode. We have here is the power lifting mode, uh, AC, DC, Ooh, grid. Grid means UPS, you guys. You guessed it right. A780, just like EB3A, is a UPS device, uninterrupted power supply, which is great if you have um, blackouts in your area. It will help you during blackouts. Your essential loads, like your desktop computers, for example, or TV, will stay on. They will not be influenced by your blackouts. Okay, now, so we have output and input here and all of those, you know, things are displayed on the screen. What else do we have in the app? So again, we can do some basic things like we can change the name, like I added the US flag here. You can also check user manuals here in the app, okay? So I love it, it's a PDF, it's really cool. Uh, we do have a paper version too, but we also have a PDF version right here. Pretty cool, okay? Now, what else do we have? We have um, charting mode, so again, standard silent turbo, switch it in the app. And power lifting mode, on or off. So under power lifting mode, it can run pure resistive loads up to 2700 watts, okay? Uh, eco mode, we have eco mode, so AC eco and DC eco. So guys, again, if you think it's too complicated, don't worry about it. Just stick to the default settings. You'll be perfectly fine. But I know, guys, that many of you out there are very happy that now we can control DC and AC. Uh, we can control every single detail. So not only you can choose the time that was available before, one hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours on our older models, right? Like, for example, EB55, EB70S, it's four hours only by default. You cannot change it, right? Here you can change it either one hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours. What's more, uh, you can set the wattage here, so it can be uh, from 15 to 30 watts. It can be anything. It can be 22 watts. It can be 24 watts. It can be 21 watts. It can be 19 watts. It can be 16 watts. You get it. So right now, I set it 22 watts in one hour. And DC Eco, the same thing. I can set the wattage myself, so I can set the wattage from 5 to 10 watts. It can be 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, uh, let's do it like for example nine or six, right? So, and I can set the time right here. At the same time, guys, let's take a look. We're still getting 1,203 watts and our unit will be fully charged in just 50, uh, 30 minutes, right? 0 0.5 hours. 
Okay. Okay, let me just tell, explain you guys what happened. What happened here is I was turning it from EP500 Pro, right? And what happened is EP500 Pro's battery drained to zero, okay? If we zoom in right here, we can see that the EP500 Pro's uh, battery drained to zero percent. So we got an alarm which said, D bat drained, which means battery drained to zero. So this is why our A380 stopped charging because the source we were charging from battery is zero. So right now we can just turn it off and charge it after our live stream, but we still have uh, 40 minutes to go. 40 minutes, okay? There we there we go. So. <clears throat> Again, everything's great with A380, it's just that our E500 Pro battery drained to 0%. It was at around, I think, 18% when we started the live stream and we were charging our EB3A and A380 from it under turbo charging mode. So it's totally understandable. Okay, what else? What else, what else? Oh yeah, the app. So, um, okay, so um, what else? My favorite firmware upgrade. We have ARM, DSP, and BMS upgrades here. Before you upgrade, check if you have sufficient battery. 37%, I think it's fine. So let's go ahead and upgrade our ARM. And boom. There you go. And now I love this design. It also shows you that, I mean, not the design really, like this, uh, the, the program to show you guys it on the screen and in the app and it says upgrade successful please reconnect to the device okay reconnecting let's reconnect to the device and let's go to settings and firmware upgrade and we have we have we have do we have more upgrades dsp and bms up, uh, we definitely have a dsp upgrade current version is this and we have latest version which is this so we can go ahead and upgrade it. So what does it say, by the way? It's universal for all of our power stations. It says, the device is unavailable during the upgrade, charging, discharging, and all controls are also unavailable. Um, please keep your phone close to the device during the upgrade. Make sure that the current capacity level, which is state of charge, which is the battery percentage, um, uh, is sufficient for a complete upgrade process. So let's go and click OK and zoom out a little bit. So DSP upgrading and please don't close the app, right? And it shows us here, AC and DC turn off. So make sure you're not running like your TV or your um, desktop computers from it because AC and DC will both turn off, right? And there, there you have it, guys. An upgrade over the air, OTA over the air, just like this. Okay, we are at 100% right now. Took us what? 10 seconds. Okay. So, and we don't have any more upgrades, or do we? We can check the version here, and we are up to date, I guess. Yeah, we are up to date. Okay, there, there you go. So, we also have advanced settings here. We can change the frequency from 60 hertz to 50 hertz if needed. And we can also enable grid self adaption. Oh, they changed the name for it. Uh, I think it used to be called grid enhancement mode. Now it's called grid self adaption. Interesting. Okay, and we even have one more button, which is factory reset. You can, you can reset it to the factory settings for the USA or for Japan, for example. So for the USA, click yes, and you'll be reset to factory settings, to the default settings for the USA. Okay, here's your home page. So here's your PV input. You click on it and you will see the power, how many watts are coming in. It accepts 500 watts of solar input maximum. You have voltage, how many volts. You have your current. Let's turn AC on. Let's turn DC on, just a brighter. Voltage, you know, the voltage has to be within 60 volts here, not, not more than 60 volts. And current, okay, amperage. You have your grid input here, and there you have it. Uh, wattage, amperage, and frequency. All right, and your DC. Now, it's, uh, it's not clickable. So DC is not clickable, but AC is. So on AC, you have the same power, voltage, current. 
and the battery also is clickable. You can see the state of charge, you can see the system status, you can see the battery pack. Okay, fantastic. Great. In the app, we also have some other features. Now we have this edit feature, which is um, uh, weather. So now it's 28 Celsius here and it's raining, shower. Okay, we can see the wind, we can see the ambient temperature date, 27, 31 degrees Celsius. Uh, we can check my devices here. Here's all devices I connected to with this account or this phone. Um, Bluetooth, we can go configure Bluetooth and we can see what power stations are within our Bluetooth range. We can go to scan, to scan uh, QR codes on, it's also one of the ways to connect to our power stations. We can contact customer service from the app. We can also learn about Blue Eddy from the app. We can also go to guidelines and to warranty all in the app, okay? So, pretty cool app, guys. Make sure you have it if you have a power station that has Bluetooth, because if, if you do, we have firmware upgrades from the app, which is really fantastic. Okay, now, so uh, I did mention, right, but I wanna stress one more time, not all of our power stations have UPS, guys, not all of them, but AC180 does have uninterrupted power supply, UPS, right? So if you have um, blackouts, AC180 can help you. Okay, guys, let me check if we have any comments, any questions, I mean. If I fall asleep while wall charging, uh, will it be okay? Yes, it will be okay. Don't worry. The devices are pretty smart right now and nothing will happen. Uh, it will be just charged to 100% and um, it will just like stay at 100%. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let me check some Facebook comments. My A 80 runs my 2005 big full-size refrigerator for 11 hours. Wow, glad to hear that. Okay, guys, now we're approaching our third giveaway right now and it's going to be our Buetti phone tripod. So you guys know what to do right now. We'll, we're going on YouTube first and we'll take a screenshot in 10, min, uh, in 10 seconds, I mean, and whoever's comment is on the very bottom wins, okay? Questions, how is your eyes? Uh, great, I don't need shades anymore. I don't need sunglasses anymore. So thank you, Not Slim. Uh, my eyes are good. Okay, all right. So, <clears throat> okay guys, let's go. 10 second countdown. Uh, right now, our third giveaway is the phone tripod. Let's go, 10 seconds guys, keep tapping. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Who is the winner? Oh, look at that. It's Rambling Bob Reviews. Congratulations, Bob. Congratulations, Bob. You got the phone tripod. Okay, and now Facebook. Now Facebook. Let's go so guys on facebook keep typing blue eddy giveaway now we are on facebook the same giveaway phone tripod from blue eddy but on facebook let's go 10 second countdown starting right now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two, one, let's go. Okay, and let's see who's the winner. And it's Jennifer Ludman. Congratulations, Jennifer. Congratulations. Okay, so Jennifer and Bob are winners. Uh, for the third round, you guys got the phone tripod. Okay, guys, so please send us an email to uh, livestream at blueeddy.com. Thank you so much, and yeah, and our fourth giveaway is coming in 25 minutes. 
On only on YouTube though. Only on YouTube we're giving away our Blue Eddy Mini Fridge. Blue Eddy Mini Fridge. Fridge. Okay, let's go guys. So, um, what else is there to say about A 180 It can charge your phone a ridiculous 63.4 times. It can charge your laptop 15 times. It can charge your mini drone um, 30 times. Your camera 31.9 times. Your power tool, it can run it for, your 80 watt power tool can run it for 9.6 hours. It can run your 40 watt fridge, just like our Blue Eddy Mini fridge, for 16.8 hours. It can run your 75 watt TV for 10.1 hours. It can run your 200 watt slow cooker for 4.2 hours. And, and it's very important, and it can even run your coffee maker of 1500 watts for 36 minutes. What is the price for AC180, you might ask? The price for AC180 is only $899. Is it a good price? Well, the market price is $1 for a watt hour. So, $899, $899 divided by 1,152. $0.78 for a watt hour or 78 cents for a watt hour, which is an amazing price, guys. So you can go ahead and get it right now and you can rest assured you're getting a good deal. <laughs> All right. So guys, we have half an hour before the end of our live stream. We have one more giveaway, which is Bloody Mini Fridge. We don't have it in the studio. We don't even have it in the office because we give it all away. We give it all away already. So right now, let's go and talk about AC200 Max. How about that, okay? So guys, absolutely get AC180 if you think it's a good fit. Let me show you one more time, uh, just the overall design. So um, what we have here is, we have nothing on the backside, except for some information here. So you can place it against the wall, you're not placing on anything. We have two powerful fans here, one here, the other here. We have some non-slip uh, pads right here, and that's it. Now you can carry it around like this, okay? Now I'm not saying it's, not saying it's lightweight, it's 30, 37.4 uh, pounds, so you can carry it like this, or like this, or like this, all right? Definitely more portable than AC200 Max. All right, so guys, I'll leave it to you. Again, $899 or 78 cents for a watt hour, where the market price is a dollar for a watt hour. Good deal, great deal. So go ahead and get it right now, guys. You can also get it with solar panels if you want to. Okay, now let's move on. AC 200 Max and its expansion battery uh, B 230. By the way, I want to charge my phone a little bit from the EB3A, so I'll just place it here. Oh, not the phone, uh, the Apple Watch. Just plug it in in the AC, uh, sorry, in the USB A, and yeah, works. Okay, cool. So um, AC 200 Max, huh? Now, it's already connected to the expansion battery, uh, B230. Let me tell you guys, we don't need to connect it. So, if you just want to use Acerant Max on its own, no problem. So, in fact, let's go ahead and disconnect it. Turn off here, wait for it to turn off. Otherwise, it will give you an alarm. Like, right now, I think we can disconnect it. Yep. Okay. All right. Acerant Max. B230, different size, but the same battery capacity, 2048 watt hours, 2048 watt hours, same. Okay, so this is your AC200 Max, right? 2048 watt hours, 2200 watts. You probably know about uh, AC200P, right? So AC200P is very similar to AC200 Max. Difference is um, AC200P doesn't have the app control. AC200 Max does, and it's a big difference, guys, let me tell you, because with an app control, what you can do, you have firmware upgrades. You have firmware upgrades available um, just via Bluetooth. So 
you know, if there is something mal malfunctions, you don't have to send it back uh, to the um, repair to the repair center. And it's like it's not a pair of AirPods you can just send back, or you can find the repair centers everywhere. It's kind of troublesome, so you don't want to run into th these problems, right? So I would very much prefer uh, a certain Max over a certain P, if I'm honest, okay? Because again, you have any problem, you have over-the-air upgrades with your phone via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, we don't have this option on a certain P. So a certain P was very good for its time, right? It's still good; it gets the job done, but it's just like, you know, you, you want to have this peace of mind that you have with a certain Max. So, a max, 2048 hours of lithium iron phosphate battery, 1,200 watts. What outputs do we have here? Uh, on the top, we have two wireless turning pads. Those are 15 watts each, okay? 15 watts each, this and this. Now, what we have here is a 12-volt um, and 10-amp cigarette lighter port, okay? 12-volt and 10-amp cigarette lighter port, or carport socket, in other words. You have 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug, okay, aviation plug, RV plug. We have 12 volt and 10 amp DC5521 barrel connectors. We have USB C port, 100 watts. We have USB A port, 18 watts. Okay, you can see this bluish part here, which means it's a USB A quick charge. 18 watts, one pair here, and we have USB A 5 volts and 3 amps or 15 watts. We have one, two, three, and four wall outlets, which are 120 volts right here, and 2200 watts. And we have we even have one NAMA TT30, which is a an output you can charge your RV from. In fact, it says recreational vehicle use only. Okay, if you're wondering where the input is, I can tell you. The input is here. The input is on this side, okay, on the right side. And not, not this, this is the expansion port. The DC input here from 10 to 145 volts DC and 15 amps, okay. This is your DC input. And this is your AC input, which is 58.8 volts DC and 8 amps, okay. Now, we do need an adapter. <laughs> yes, we do need an adapter for your AC to hundred max. Oh yeah, this is the extension port, so you can connect to B to hundred thirty batteries natively, or to B to hundred batteries one or two, one B to hundred thirty, or two B to hundred thirty batteries, one B three hundred or two B three hundred batteries. Okay. Okay, okay, so AC to 100 max. AC to 100 max is 16.5 inches by 11 inches by 15.2 inches here. Weighs that 61.9 pounds. Or it's 42 centimeters by 28 centimeters by 38.7 centimeters and weighs that 28.1 kilograms. So one more time, guys, it's... Uh, 2048 watt hours or 40 amp hours because the battery's voltage is 51.2 volts. The maximum AC load is 2200 watts. The surge power is 4800 watts. It does not have a power lifting mode, it doesn't. So the maximum is 2200 watts. The surge power is 4800 watts. The runtime is 3,500 cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. It is expandable. It can, you can add either one B230 battery or two B230 batteries, either one B300 battery or two B300 batteries. So it's expandable up to 8,192 watt hours. And we have a warranty for four years for AC 200 Max. In the box, you will find the adapter, okay? And it's either um, T500 adapter, this one, okay, which is 58.8 volts and 8 amps, DC7909. So, how do we? Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you how to charge it because both 
E P five hundred Pro and E five hundred are discharged, and we usually use them. I use them as a wall outlet because you guys can see we don't have American wall outlets here. So you plug it and uh, you plug it in the adapter, fifty eight point eight volts DC, eight amps. Boom! There you go. And all you need is just a, uh, you know, like. Uh, AC charging cable, like like the one we had for a uh, C180 or for uh, EB3A. So this one, yeah, you're right. So, okay, and you plug it in a wall outlet, and you will get uh, around. Let me let me actually tell you the exact number. You will get 470.4 watts, 470.4 watts from this adapter from your T. 500 adapter now depending on when you bought it you probably have um t400 adapter in the box they are basically the same the difference is this one is noticeably heavier okay uh but it also doesn't have a built-in fan which is a good thing and a bad thing the good thing is that well uh, you will not hear the fan sound but the bad thing is that well it does it can't cool itself so you know um so this is basically the same as your T400 adapter. T400 adapter is 58.8 volts and 7 amps. So you will get a slightly lower input of around 411.6 watts as opposed to 170 watts. Anyway, with either this or this adapter will take you 5 hours to recharge from 0 to 100% and 3.5 hours to recharge from 0 to 80%. But this is not the only charging method. You probably have already figured out you can charge from solar panels and because we have the DC and the AC input separate, you can charge from solar panels and from a wall outlet at the same time. So speaking about solar charging, right, it's a bigger power station, it accepts up to 900 watts of solar input, okay? So the specifications there is from 10 to 145 volts okay so you can actually connect solar panels um, in series for example if you go for portable solar panels you can connect five blue eddy pv 200 panels you heard me right guys five blue eddy pv 200 panels and under good conditions you will be able to recharge from zero to 100 percent in three hours and from zero to 80 percent in two and a half hours you can also go for three blue eddy pv 350 solar panels and you will be able to recharge from 0 to 100% in 3 hours and from 0 to 80% in 2.4 hours. Or alternatively, you can go for 3 PV 420 solar panels. So you will be able to recharge from 0 to 100% in uh, 2.8 hours and from 0 to 80% in 2.3 hours. How do we even recharge from solar panels, you might ask? Is it complicated? You know, and it's not complicated. It's, it's very convenient, guys. Let me show you how to do that. So these adapters, put them here. Okay. Now, uh, again, here's your input. Uh, in the box of AC100 Max, you will have this multifunctional DC charting cable. This is what it's called. Okay. So how do we connect it? We have two kind of uh, pins right here. So let's unscrew it and uh, just like this. Okay, there you go. This is your XT90 and connect it to solar cables. Boom, there you have. So connected and you know how to connect your MC4 to our solar panels, right? So yeah, just like that, accepts 900 watts of solar input maximum. Now, what if you want to charge from your vehicle? You know, it's gonna, it's gonna be slow, guys. It's going to be slow because we're working with 2,040 A with our battery, right? But it's also an option. If you want to charge from your vehicle, no problem. So here is your car charging cable, okay? Now, Make no mistake, guys, it will take you 25.6 hours to recharge from your 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port. It will take you 13.1 uh, hours to recharge from your 24 volt and 10 amp input source. But still, you know, if you're always on, on the go, if you're driving a lot, 
yeah, it's a good option to charge from your vehicle. Why not? So um, there you have it. Car charting, solar charting. You can also charge from lead acid batteries. And of course, you can charge from a wall outlet. And of course, you can combine any of DC and AC charting simply because the DC and the AC inputs are separate. So you can charge, for example, from, from, from your car and from a wall outlet at the same time. I don't see how it's realistic, you know, but you can do that. Or alternatively, you can also charge from solar panels from a wall outlet. This is, this is more realistic, right? Okay. So, AC Nerd Max. It can run your uh, 80 watt power tool for 16 hours. It can run your 100 watt fridge for 13.3 hours, your 75 watt TV for 17 hours, your 200 watt slow cooker for 7.2 hours. It does not have a UPS mode, um, so you don't have to be plugging it in the wall outlet right all the time. It doesn't have UPS mode. Uh, it does have a very interesting screen, okay? Yeah, that's right. Nine minutes before the next giveaway. Okay. Let me guys show you the screen of a Smart Max right here. So what does the screen show us? Well, first of all, we have the battery here, 57%. We click on it, we can see that we have battery pack one, two, and three. So we can um, connect two more batteries, just like I said. Let's go back. So here we have the uh, PV input, all right? Remember, it accepts 900 watts of solar input maximum. So uh, the voltage is 145 volts max. So you don't want to see a number that is more than 145 volts here. And here, you will see 900 watts max. So what does that mean, it accepts 900 watts? Well, if you have an input of 1,000 watts, what, what happens? Well, the limit is 900. So it will just kind of waste that extra 100 watts, okay? It's not terrible, it's actually all right, but it's um, the most important thing is you want the voltage to be within 145 volts. Okay, let's go back. So here's your PV, here's your grid. So uh, for grid, you will have, it accepts 500 watts of um, input, all right? And you will get close to that, you will get around 470 watts from your T500 adapter. You can see the voltage and the power. The voltage is 58.8 volts. This is standard voltage for, for our um, adapter. Okay. Uh, okay, AC output. We see output voltage here. So it's gonna be 120 volts or like 119 volts, something like that in America. And output power, okay. So it is maximum 2,200 watts, just like it says right here. And the surge power is 4,800 watts. Okay, and the frequency is 60 hertz, again, standard frequency in North America, 60 hertz. Okay, DC load, we have our output voltage and output power combined. We have our 12 volt and 10 amp secret lighter port um, output power. We have a 12 volt 30 amp output power. We have our USB, PD, and wireless output power here. Let's go back, settings. Okay, we can change the language from English to Japanese. Let's switch it back to English. We can change the AC output voltage from 120 volts to 100 volts or 110 volts if needed. We can change the frequency from 60 hertz to 50 hertz if needed. Now, here is the important thing, DC input source. When you charge from solar panels, choose PV. If you charge from others, choose others. Next, we have eco mode, on or off. So here we don't have such an advanced eco mode. It's qu quite a basic eco mode. So under eco mode, it will turn off your AC inverter, okay? Like in four hours if there is no load or very low load. So whether you want to turn on or off, you decide. Okay, next we have uh, Bluetooth state. So you can connect it to the uh, to, to, to your phone via Bluetooth. Next we have Bluetooth on or off. So if you're planning to use the app, and I would highly recommend you guys actually use the app because we have over the air upgrades, firmware upgrades in the app, so I would uh, keep it on. Next we have basis state, so, oh, sorry, basis settings. So I keep it on too because if something, if something malfunctions, if, if I have an alert, I would prefer actually hearing it. So I turn the buzzer setting on. You can also turn it off. Next we have touch sound. This is totally personal. 
If you like the sound, keep it on. If you don't like it, turn it off. Next, you can restore the factory settings for the USA by clicking the yes here. Next, we have backlight brightness. So now it's maximum. Here is the minimum. Next, we have sleep time, never. 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or never. Next, we have date and the time. Okay, we even have data here. We have product info, we have model, ASRM Max, serial number, we have all the versions like DSP, ARM, BMS, HMI, and even better management system for potential expansion batteries. We have our inverter and charger info here, our PV and car charging, our DC output, our AC output, and our adapter charging. We could see this info from the homepage, so I won't be stopping here the same. We have um, our battery management system here, so we see that this battery is 57% and we have two potential batteries and we have alarm history here. We even have the date and the time here and we have the alarms here, no current alarms and you can always clear your alarms after you fix them. You can turn DC on just like this. Now I can use any of those DC outputs or all of them at the same time, including wireless charging pads. For example, you know, if I want to charge my phone, if I want, like right now, if I want to charge my laptop, I want to charge my um, whatever that is, really, DC and AC. So look at this, guys. I, for the first time, we have two phones here, so I'll, I'll use this opportunity. And we're charging two iPhones right now from the wireless charging pads, right? We're pulling out six watts, eight watts. But can we actually run some more powerful devices? For example, this cattle, right? So turn AC on and let's go boil some water. 1,246 watts, right? Pretty cool. Now, speaking about cool, this waffle maker, it cooled down already. So we can go ahead and connect this waffle maker. And let's see, 1,000. 844 watts, right? So 60 hertz and close to 120 volts. Perfect. Let's add more, more devices like my Apple Watch, for example. This USB-A port, I'll be using 18 watts. Okay. Now, obviously, it only adds like one watt or so. 17 watts. Okay, cool, not bad. All right, so just like that. Great, so um, the app, let me show you guys the app real quick, because we, we only have 10 minutes and two minutes before the giveaway. So here's our mind devices, and let's find ASNR Max, okay, right here. So ASNR Max in the app, we can see, we can turn DC on or off, we can see that we're pulling out that many watts from AC, that many watts from DC. We can turn DC on and off. We can click on, uh, oh, it's not clickable, sorry. Uh, we can click on the battery. You can see the battery info here. Settings, okay. So we have user manuals in the app right here. We can change the name of your ASR Max here if you want. Next, we have auto sleep. 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or never. We have firmware upgrade, my favorite, okay? So we have ARM, DSP, and BMS firmware upgrades in the app, and we can even unbind the device right here, okay? So guys, speaking about the price of A700 Max, right now I am very happy to announce that the price of your A700 Max, as you guys can see in the comments, and you can find the link in the description on YouTube and or on Facebook, it's $1,599 dollars which means it's only let's calculate it together guys it's only 78 cents for a watt hour where the market price is a dollar for a watt hour and make no mistake you'll be using this thing for uh 10 plus years for 10 12 15 years easily so I don't see why not get one A700 Max. And the thing I love about it is that right now, all I need is 2,048 watt hours of battery capacity. But if I need more, I can always connect either one or two B230 batteries natively. So it gives me peace of mind. I can always add more battery capacity to back up my devices for a longer time, okay? 
So it's great. By the way, you know, just real quick, Beta 130 is much more than just the expansion battery. It does have its own input right here. Okay, so we can charge from an adapter. And it even has the USB-C, 100 watts, USB-A, 18 watts, and a 12 volt 10 amp car power socket right here and its own input which is 58.8 volts DC and 8 amps which means you can recharge it from the adapter okay from your T500 adapter okay 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 it's time for our last giveaway and our last giveaway will take place only on YouTube so everybody jump on YouTube, me and maybe we can send the link to our YouTube live stream on Facebook. How about that? So they, everybody can jump from Facebook to YouTube in one click. Already sent it. Awesome. So, okay, let's go. Oh my God, so many comments. Questions. We talk about how you can get about 3,000 cycles before 80%, but how many cycles after that, say 60 or 50%? Honestly, Blake, I don't know. Uh, we don't count it to 60 or 50%. I don't know. Uh, okay, okay, but I will definitely ask Blake and next time I will know. Okay, guys, I can see your comments. So we have 37 people right now and we have so many likes. Guys, I'm so happy, guys. Make sure you please give us a like. That just helps us enormously. And the water's boiling. You see, guys, when you're here, the water's boiling. So please give us a like. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate that. Okay, 34, 38 people right now. Let's go, let's go guys, press that like button and 10 second countdown before last giveaway. Mini fridge, who's getting that mini fridge? I'm excited, are you guys, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, let's go. Okay, so honestly, let me see who the winner is. Let's zoom in here and see who the winner is. Uh -oh, is it Perry Albert? Perry Albert, congratulations. Perry Albert, congratulations, Perry. You got our bloody mini fridge. So Perry, you know what to do. Email us to livestream at blueaddy.com. Same time, water boiled. Uh, to the imaginary toast is ready. Uh, great. So, guys, we have five minutes before the end of our live stream. Make sure the giveaway winners, make sure you email us to livestream at blueeddy.com. Okay, Perry Albert, Perry, you won. Congratulations. So, guys, our next live stream is going to be this Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Daily Time. 7 to 9 p.m. PDT. We will be live on blueeddypower.com. Okay, our website. BlueAddyPower.com this Sunday, 7 to 9 p.m. PDT, okay? Um, what else? Now, the links for all the products we talked about today are in the description on YouTube or on Facebook. doesn't matter where you guys are. Also, very important, look, we have a discount code for, let me see. We have a discount code for uh, PV200. For that solar panel, remember? For PV200, we do have a discount code for it. You can save 20 bucks if you purchase within the, this, the next um, uh, five minutes. So we have the code LivePV200. If you enter this code at a checkout, you will save 20 bucks. So don't hesitate. This code expires at 9 p.m. PDT or in five, four minutes. So if you wanted to get 200 guys, get it right now. The code is LivePV200. Um, it's case insensitive, I guess, so capitals or... It doesn't matter. So, um, live PV200, you will find the code in the description. Okay? All right, cool. So, a Smart Max costs $1,599, which is fantastic because it's only uh, 78 cents for a watt hour, where the market price is $1 for a watt hour, and the runtime of this battery is 15 years. So, let's go ahead and divide $1599 by 15. Now we've got, we've got, we've got $106.6 a year, okay, uh, over the course of 15 years. So definitely worth it. We'll back up 
your essential loads during blackouts and power outages, most importantly. You can back up your fridge. For example, if you're looking to back up your fridge, right? If there's one thing you have to back up during during power outages, that would be your fridge because you don't want to waste no food, right? It's 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 really horrible uh, from a moral perspective and it just sucks when a power outage and you know your fridge is melting and I, I know that, so it, it's not cool. Um, now, you can back up your fridge for 13.3 hours. This is if your fridge is working all the time. And most refrigerators, especially right now, they won't work all the time. They will work for some time, they will stop, they will keep working, right? So even if it always like work at 100%, 13.3 hours. So even if you have like a bigger fridge to 100 watt, right? Obviously, the time will be 7.2 hours, not bad, right? So, and if you need more battery capacity, maybe not now, later, just add one or two B230 batteries. You guys saw how to add them with this cable, right? With this very cable that is included in the box of B230. Very easy to connect. You don't have to press, hold anything. Just, you know, make sure they both turn off then connect them, log them, and turn one of them on. The other one is turned on too. Or let's just turn two, both of them on. Boom, you're connected. Okay, just like that, guys. Check out the app. Again, if you have a power station that has Bluetooth, check out the app. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you guys for your likes. Again, uh, give, give the session a like if you enjoyed it, if you learned something. I'll see you guys next time this Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time PDT, okay? So, we'll be here on, we'll be on bladypower.com with a different set of power stations and solar panels, potentially even better, even, even uh, power stations that, that fit you better. So, you don't want to miss it. You just want to maybe have a look at the Sunday at 7 p.m. PDT. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, I definitely enjoyed this live stream. I actually really did. <laughs> Coming back from the uh, like this small kind of vacation. It was not a real vacation, but didn't see you guys for like uh, a while. So very happy to be here with you guys. And I'll see you guys next time um, this Sunday, 7 p.m. PDT on our website. Okay. Now this cam cameraman, what are you doing, man? <laughs> we can see you okay so anyway guys see you next time thank you so much for choosing blue Eddie and